What up, though? Peace, peace. You already know what you're and who you rocking with. So let's get to it. Check it out, man. Um, Harlem and Bronx native Zach Tate sat down for an interview with the For the Culture podcast, wherein he discussed a multitude of things. But in one segment, Zach Tate said some very interesting things when asked how he felt when Alpo got shot. He told a few stories in regards to Alpo, Rich, and Randy Love in what seemed like an attempt to gloss over the question, as you can see in this clip right here. What was your thoughts when you saw Alpo get shot? And... So, um, unlike a lot of these YouTube clowns that's talking about they know Alpo and all that other stuff. Alpo was the only person that could say he got a crazy bag off of me and he wasn't one of my homies, right? Off a dice game. And he oh, asked so he better. Dice he, know he, asked better. he asked better than me, right? And he got a super bag off of me. All my re up with me. Oh, wow. Right? And he asked better. And he, he won, right? And, you know, I'm going to say it for as long as I live. Anytime you mention Alpo, anything to do with toughness, putting in work, shout out to Randy Love. That's who I shout out. Because it's not really about the person, it's the muscle around the person. All right, check it out, man. Um, one thing that stood out outside of the notes is the ending of that clip right there where he says something to the effect of, it's not always about the person, but it's about the muscle that's around the person. As if to say that wasn't nobody gonna mess with Pope because of Randy, which is something we all knew at one point or the other, but it's kind of like a negative shot at Pope. Like, you know, if Randy wasn't around this and that and the other, you feel me? As if to say, I guess he's saying he wasn't afraid of Poe, but he was afraid of Randy. Or some people weren't afraid of Poe, but they were afraid of Randy. I don't know. Jump in the comments and let me know how you felt about that last part. But back to the notes. As you can see from the clip, Zach Tate will pay homage to Randy Love and speak about Al Poe beating him for a large sum of money in a dice game and almost being gunned down in Washington, D.C. over being mistaken for Poe. Pause. I'm going to have to pause on that one right there. Because Dog looks straight like Math Hoffa. He looked just like Math Hoffa, so I don't understand. I don't know if that's Cap or not. I can't call that Cap, you feel me? But, you know, in a side-by-side, -side, I'd probably put Poe over here and put Dude over there or something, or vice versa. If Dude was over there, I'd put Poe over there. But, yeah, 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 in a side-by-side, -side, I don't see how anybody would mistake him for Poe. Maybe a younger him and a younger Poe. I don't know. But um, back to the notes. He would give a very strong opinion of Al Poe and his character, all while avoiding the original question from the host, which was, what were your thoughts when you saw Al Poe got shot? As you can see in this clip right here. From where I'm from, Harlem, and the Bronx, I don't care what nobody say, put my street credibility up to par. Al Poe was a street messiah. He was the boss of Flosser. A lot of us wanted to be like him. He stole my haircut. Anybody that know from the time would tell him he stole my haircut. It's an argument that we used to go back and forth. <laughs> okay, okay, so I'll put the laugh track in. But all jokes aside, all jokes aside, man, check this out, man. Check it out. During the clip, he did mention that he and Poe weren't friends. It wasn't my friend, it wasn't my buddy, such and such, such and such. If that's the case, he must have been in constant contact with Poe for one reason or another in order for his haircut to be a constant uh, uh, cause of conversation. Constant conversation means you got to be around somebody for an extended period of time. You feel me? Not just once or twice, if that's a... A uh, 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 leeway in the conversation here and there Then you was around him here and there and everywhere Maybe Probably Come on now Somebody got to tell the whole truth Nothing but the truth So help them God That's all I had to say man Outside of the notes But back to those Because you know I got them Shout out to the notes um, He called Alpo a street messiah And the boss of Floss Which are very both Which are both very befitting Of Alpo in my opinion he also shared a few not so positive thoughts on Alpo, and if you'd like to see those, 
a link to the video in its entirety is available in my description box. So all you got to do is go down there and click it and you can watch everything he had to say in regards to his thoughts on Alpo. But otherwise, the question still remained unanswered as to what was his thoughts when he heard that Alpo got shot. And I think he waited until the end of the podcast to kind of answer that question. And I believe the answer was a bit refreshing. Let's check it out. I'm telling dudes, I tell, put my all my credibility on the line. I tell dudes, it was, it's okay to mourn, bro. It's okay to mourn him. Because he had an impact on your life. When he came home, if you fraternized with him, if you was giving him money, if you was hanging out with him, then you're telling, you're not in really conflict. You're telling the whole world that you condone what he did. But just because somebody do something you don't like, don't mean you don't love them anymore. It just changes the circumstance. All right, all right, check it out, man. In closing, in closing. As I said before, the interview is on the For the Culture podcast channel. A link to the video in its entirety will be in the description box. Check it out. Um, At the end of that clip, toward the end of that clip, I don't agree with something that he said right there. And I'd be remiss if I didn't speak on it. He said that if you hung out with him, if you sent him money or gave him money, then you weren't in conflict. You were basically telling the world or everybody that you condone what he did. I don't agree with that. I'm I, 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 understanding that he's trying to disassociate himself with the association to Alco and everything. I, I, I think that's more so saying that, you know, I don't care what he did. Not so that I don't condone it. That I do condone it, rather. He said, you, you telling the world, if you hung out with him, if you spent money, if you did this and that and the other, then you ain't in conflict. You telling everybody that you condone. No, you just telling people that you don't care what he did. As I've always stated, he didn't do it to me. And that's how a lot of people felt. They didn't care. It's not so much that they condoned it as a lot of the individuals were a part of the streets and understood the quote unquote street code and everything. So um, it wasn't so much that they condoned it. It was so, in other words, they, they really didn't care. What he did to other individuals He didn't do it to them A lot of people he could have taken down But he did not Outside of a few small Negative things uh, uh, That I, I, I seen in the video I can I think it's safe to say that this young man Looked up to Poe And probably was disappointed by the fact that Poe took that deal and, and cooperated in everything that he did But Like he said at the end of the video just because somebody does something bad doesn't mean you stop loving them. Sometimes you love them different to change the circumstances. You feel me? So, again, I think that he still had love for Poe. You feel me? He looked up to Poe. He, as he said in the video, he wanted to be like Poe, as a lot of other people did. And uh, he was probably just a bit disappointed that Poe did what he did. But, you know, in total... Still looked up to him, he a Harlem legend. You feel me? Let me know how you felt about it. And if you seen the video in its entirety, and if you should go look at it, come back, jump in the comment box. Let me know how you felt about what you saw there. You feel me? Peace to the guys on earth. Peace to the chat. Peace of shit to a hater. You know how I carry it. Until we meet again.